Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this episode, episode 28, I'm going to talk about the thalamus and hypothalamus. Let's get right into it. Here we have the human brain, and before we looked at this and we saw that we have the spinal cord that en enters the cranium, and as soon as it enters the cranium, we have the brain, which is all of this here. And we spoke about the brain stem already, we spoke about the cerebellum, we spoke about the cerebrum, and what we're going to talk about today is the hypothalamus and the thalamus. And how I'm going to do that, I'm going to take this area here, and show it on a different picture so that we can look at a little more detail. So I'm taking that area and that is what we're looking at right now. So here, as you can see, we have this region here that's called the thalamus. And then right beneath that, we have the hypothalamus. So these are the two areas that we're gonna talk about today. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at the functions of those two areas. First we have the thalamus, and the thalamus is kind of like a regulatory gateway. And the reason I say that is almost all of the sensory input that comes into the brain goes through the thalamus, and the motor output goes via the thalamus to the rest of your body. So it brings stuff into the brain, and this is the gateway that kind of regulates what comes in and what goes out. That's the function of the thalamus. The hypothalamus, and if you look at what this really means, hypo means under and thalamus, of course that's the thalamus. So this is right beneath the thalamus. This is involved in functions including homeostasis, emotion, thirst, hunger, circadian rhythms, and control of the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system involves those processes that you don't have to think about regulating your heart rate and your breathing rate and so on, that's an autonomic process. And this is in some ways controlled by the hypothalamus. So there we have it, the thalamus and the hypothalamus. As we go into some of the other things that we're gonna be talking about in later episodes, you're gonna see how some of this comes together and we're gonna paint a bigger picture of how the brain and the nervous system works. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.